So what if you had this vast knowledge and this huge experience in a certain niche and you happen to be um, somebody who knows your audience quite well or your potential audience quite well, you understand your customer, customer persona. Well, then uh, organic is the acquisition channel for you. And I'm sure you've thought that before as well, no matter if you're doing work for your clients or your own project, right? But what if you're a one man show? Like, what if it's just you and writers? What if it's you and maybe freelance writers? How do you approach content production uh, with, you know, planning, uh, research extensive research before that and then after that going into execution into production itself how do you do that on your own uh how with keyword research and i'm here to show you how my name is boyan i'm director of seo at content distribution a team of amazing people who have brought numerous projects from zero to 100k organic visits uh per month and last i don't know even less than two years. Um, we have this very clear, meticulous keyword research process and we wanna share it with everybody. And that's exactly what I'm gonna to do today. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do every week actually in the next, uh, I don't know, eight to 10 weeks for sure. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you how we approach keyword research. All right, so I'm doing a simulation here for that imaginary person that I talked about, but was actually inspired by a new friend of uh, mine who's gonna recognize himself in our Facebook group, I'm sure. Um, with a simulation of um, somebody who wants to do a blog or a huge content website on game streaming, because let's say you have this, you know, you're part of that community, you have something to offer, you wanna do it through content. Uh, the way to grow you know, fast is the way of content publishing velocity that leads our philosophy and that's something that works. And in order to do that, you need to have you know, all the things that I mentioned at the beginning. So a planning process, uh, uh, you know, an organizational process, the processes around uh, how you create content, how you assign content, what do you do? But before all of that, you need to have ideas. You might know everything about your niche. You might know everything about uh, all this experience that you have, but you know, how does that translate into topics? And in between, how does that translate into keywords that you could target uh, in order to get to that audience? And the simulation I'm doing today is uh, for somebody who's uh, into streaming. And that's how I'm going to start. I'm going to get ideas like from scratch. Let's say that we don't know nothing that we want to do or publish. Um, we just know we want to do streaming. And that's how I'm going to start in Ahrefs. It's not much different in SEMrush or any other, other tool. Uh, I'm going to start with my main terms. So it's going to be streaming, stream, uh, streamed. And then I'm gonna also do streams. So it's really important that you start with your main terms with all of the uh, all of the variations of that term that are going to be coming into the keywords that you're expecting uh, to target, right? If you go to having same terms in Ahrefs, you are going to be greeted by a pool of keywords that contain these terms that you marked uh, as main ones. And yeah, this is insane. Streaming is a big thing. There's going to be 5 million keywords, of course. What I want to do is, pardon the pun, streamline this. Um, well, that's not really a pun, but whatever. Yeah. Streamline this uh, keyword research. I'm going to use the include function. I'm going to choose any word. And I'm going to think of terms uh, that are going to be in keywords of the topics that I am expecting or wanting to rank on, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, it's going to when I start typing. So the first thing well, I want to talk about also to this community of people that I'm teaching how to stream is, you know, what about the, the devices? What about the hardware? What about the stuff that they can use? So I'm going to start with camera. As you can see mine is not the best right now, but I'm going to be learning. So camera, cameras, um, 
mic, microphone, and so on and so on. I can continue um, adding maybe devices, like people stream from different kind of devices, right? You can stream things, uh, I'm guessing, from PlayStation and Xbox as well. Um, so that's an interesting thing that you can go deeper in. I'm not going to do that for this simulation. I'm going to show you uh, soon why I didn't do that. And then uh, I want to also have streaming software right there. I want to talk about that as well. That, that can be a nice uh, vertical, right? Mm, maybe tool and tools. I mean, that's not a good idea. Let's see later. Um, but definitely software is another thing. And then I want to have really specific um, topics that are about very known things that people stream because that's something that I've uh, done. Um, and I'm going to show you what I ended up uh, just doing this afternoon just through regular uh, research. One second. Um, to prepare for this. Have a look. So yeah, I forgot quality. So my include words are gonna include quality and cameras, microphone. Then I wanna do informational content. That's why I have a how to and best. Then I have software. And then I have all of these uh, things that are really interesting to me. Um, you know, they can be games, they can be other things like Redem Redemption, Final Fantasy, Minecraft, Counter-Strike, and so on and so on. Uh, yes, Overwatch, um, Call of Duty. Um, and then, like I mentioned, the software, you know, on platforms, I have Twitch and YouTube, right? So I'm going to use these include terms. Click apply. Boom, that's a more manageable, uh, that's more manageable uh, kind of a keyword list. How to stream on Twitch. I already see that this is going to be an amazing topic. I'm going to need this for sure. So this looks really good. Something that you're going to see right away is that there's um, there are things that I'm not interested in, but do include the term stream or streaming. And that's really important when you do keyword research. You need to understand your topic. You need to understand you know, your niche, at least where you are going. I know that I'm not going you know, towards show streaming or um, other types of content which do not relate to live streaming, right? So movies. Fox News thingy, all of these things. I don't want that. I don't want CNN, but I do want Twitch. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exclude these things. And here's what I ended up with. So movie, movies, TV, CNN, show. Uh, yeah, the Patriots, love the Patriots, amazing, but I don't want to do that. I want to do boxing or NFL or any of these things. Um, I just want to have things that relate to uh, game streaming, right? Now, what you're seeing here is uh, that you can do, you know, even a much better job than I have because there are things that, uh, as you're going to see soon, that I did not exclude because it did not go so deep. But this, that's okay. I'm not that guy who understands everything when it comes to streaming. Uh, but it's going to be more than enough for me to show you uh, how you can uh, plan your content out. So... Okay, this is something, let's say, that I'm happy about. The next thing I want to do is exclude all of the keywords that have volume less than 10. That's too low. I'm targeting a huge audience. I don't want any of those keywords. Uh, uh, I don't want to deal with any of those keywords at the moment. They're just too low. Okay, 70K keywords. This is great. This is going to be maybe 25K. Maybe it's going to be 13K, depending on how uh, much better of a job you can do than me by including and excluding these things. But it, as you can see, it's just about understanding. It's just about thinking what it is that you're doing, uh, that you're doing in your project. That's the most important thing. Everything else is easy as I'm going to show you. So basically, um, let's say that I'm happy with this. The problem here becomes that I was talking about a one-man show. A one-man show cannot handle the research of 70K entries, which are all so burdened with meaning. Like every keyword has so many pages related to it. There's so many competitors. There's so many things that you could talk about. You need to understand how to target those keywords. How do you approach such a huge body of, uh, uh, of potential topics, right? Of potential things that you can target with your content, unless you dive into all of it. 
I'm going to show you how we do it actually automatically, uh, manually. Yeah, it's doable. Uh, we've all done it. We have all had success or not with it. But the thing that we all experienced was um, huge, uh, huge expenses and manpower. And of, of course, also huge expenses when it comes to um, all expenses. Time is money. So I guess um, time spent is also an expense. I'm going to show you how you can do this by um, just grouping all of these keywords together in keyword clusters, which are going to give you um, a roadmap for topic clusters. And we do that with Cluster AI. Uh, Cluster AI is a keyword grouping tool. And I always want to emphasize that it's not a keyword suggesting tool. It cannot group the things that you have in group. This is why I insist so much uh, on uh, doing a meticulous keyword research. And it is a tool that we at Content Distribution have used um, in the past two uh, years uh, as an in-house tool to create all of the success and projects that we have. Um, how it works is, well, you just upload your keyword list that you can get from Ahrefs or any other tool. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Um, for this simulation, I am going to group just the top 3,000 keywords. And we can talk about that some more uh, by the end of this video. And this export is something that I am going to drag and drop into Cluster AI, just like this. I am going to say that my keyword list type is Ahrefs. And for those who are not new on the channel and who are following us for some time, you'll see that the, finally the custom import is ready. It's gonna be live on production as well. It's just on our dev environment right now. Um, a little sneak peek. Um, I'm gonna choose Ahrefs. I'm not gonna be choosing any other location because I'm doing US and that is it. I'm gonna click submit and this is going to be grouped uh, in a matter of a couple of hours. But I've done this this afternoon so I can show you what the deliverable looks like and how does that solve your uh, research, planning, and I would say production um, challenges. All right, here we go. This is uh, what Cluster A spits out. This is something that you would have been doing for um, weeks and weeks at a time. So Basically, what we had, if you uh, disregard the first column, which is just the ID number of a certain keyword, the first column is the main keyword. The third column are all of the variation, the variations that Cluster AI groups together with the main keyword. And the volume that you see in between is the aggregated volume of all of the variations. So that is your aggregated potential for what? For one single page, because every line in the CSV is a content idea for a page, for a blog, uh, for a product listing, maybe if you're doing that kind of um, research. And what I did here is I highlighted with green color coding some of the interesting things that I know right away that I can uh, publish and create pages for. Um, and those are just stuff that I, as somebody who doesn't know anything about streaming when it comes to gaming, knows that I'm going to need. Like I'm gonna need how to stream on Twitch as a huge guide. And with Cluster AI, I know exactly which variations I need to include in the page. Yeah, there are too many variations here, too, too many to maybe include. I'm going to talk about that as well. How to scream on Discord. Again, another great, uh, another great huge topic. And I didn't even include it in my research in the beginning when I needed to have all the software. Imagine if you have done this uh, uh, in an even better way than I could ever do. Same goes for here. Remember when I said different devices? I didn't even include uh, PS4 in my research, but you know I included stream and how to, so I'm gonna get this kind of a keyword, right? But this is an amazing topic and it has so much potential when you look at volume. The same goes for Xbox One. That, that could be also a page that I wanna work on. Here's something interesting also. The yellow color coding is something that I highlighted when it comes to devices. So best microphone for streaming. That's another vertical I can attack. And I have all of this in one single CSV, in one single grouping. All I needed to do was have a keyword list that can be even bigger than 17,000. And remember, I just imported 3,000 here 
imagine if I imported everything else, all of these things would be grouped. You would have a content plan for an entire year if you're this kind of a content producer, uh, just in a matter of hours. It would be ready for you the next day. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this, these red ones. I have another yellow one I wanted to show you. If you go down the line, you will see amazing opportunities with lower volume, which people uh, would not, you know, just think of maybe if they're doing manual keyword research. Before that, let me, uh, let me uh, digress for a second. So what does Cluster AI do? We take every keyword that you import in, we go to Google search engine result pages, we look at the results for each and every keyword, compare them amongst each other, and then our AI will divide them into groupings to give you the best opportunity to rank organically if you implement those keywords together. That means you don't have to think which keywords should you target with a separate page or not. And that is why it's so exciting to look at these opportunities that have three digit volumes, right? Because if I look at some of the things that have been grouped here, just so many interesting things that I maybe would have never thought of doing just on my own. Uh, for example, I'm a very big Raspberry Pi uh, fan. Raspberry Pi camera stream is a great topic that you can do. And it's according to Cluster AI, it's separated uh, in its uh, own thing, right? And look how many more uh, opportunities are there. Because I cut that uh, sample of first 3,000 keywords that I imported and not 17K, that's why I don't have uh, more things uh, grouped for, you know, best Ethernet cable for stream, which is also a super specific thing. I mean, this could be an amazing affiliate page for your website. Like, you know, you have this audience of gamers. Yeah, here's the here's something that's, that's best to do, right? Um, I'm not going to go deeper into the topic. I don't want to embarrass myself anymore. But let me show you what else is important for you to understand. I forgot to exclude Super Bowl from my uh, keyword list and it got into this analysis, but that's okay. That's just not something I'm going to write about. But if you do your exclusions properly, that is something that is not ESPN. But it's not something that's going to come up in your results if you end up using Cluster AI. But it's not going to hinder uh, your analysis. You could have done this huge grouping where you cover everything about streaming and then you would have had a plan for everything in the streaming niche ever in just a matter of hours. All right, um, let me uh, talk about what I uh, promised a bunch of times in these videos. And fortunately, it's gonna be another promise, but um, I'm working on uh, how to uh, both video, both live and an article on how to implement these variations on your page. People ask me, should they be putting in all of these uh, keywords on their page? Is that the way to rank? Well, my answer is um, sure, if they make sense, but we have had so much success in our own content production where we never included all of the variations, but included uh, not even a majority of them, but at least let's say a third. I don't like you know talking about these numbers because it's gonna depend um, whether you're doing uh, this kind of a topic or something else. But if you look at these variations, they're gonna tell you, they're gonna give you a blueprint of what that page should be. Like I already know this is going to be a huge ultimate guide uh, on how to stream, stream on Twitch. But look at these things that you should also cover here. It's about streaming on a PC. Um, mostly it's streaming on a PC. I guess it's not something, I guess you need a separate page for something else. Um, look at this here, like Cluster AI has grouped how to stream Fortnite on Twitch. Like that is supposed to be, here it is. That is uh, supposed to be part of this one single page. It's just our suggestion is that you don't need to create a separate page for such a thing. That means you can work on this page as time goes by and just fill it up with new and new ways uh, to uh, interact with your visitors. And that's something that I really wanna talk about in um, my next piece of content. So make sure to comment uh, show us the template for implementing variations, you lazy fuck. If you comment this, you're going to be receiving uh, the article for sure. Um, I'm going to be talking about this some more, but other things are, you know, super precise. This is just going to be an article of, I, I'd say, 2K words. 
where I need to talk about USB microphone for streamings, you know, um, how to set it up, what are the best ones, uh, and other variations are just similar, basically, you know, um, language vari variations, that's, uh, that's um, a good way to call it, of the main keyword. It's not something that you need to stuff. And on that note, I want to show you, I want to give you an answer of, you know, how fast can you get some results? Well, pretty fast if you, uh, if you, well, not if you follow this, but if, um, if our data is something um, that you can work on. All of our projects have been uh, done with the use of cluster AI to group keywords. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is uh, we uh, always went for highest quality in terms of added value in creating good content. Those keywords, those groups give us um, a roadmap and then our hard work gives us a uh, uh, possibility to have high quality articles. And third thing uh, is content velocity. So those three factors are the factors that has led us to these kind of numbers. You can have an audience of 100K visitors per month in a year if say you publish 200 pages within the first six months. That is something you can count on without backlinks, without any kind of additional pushes, outreach, paid, social pings, and so on. This is for a new website. This process, this was our first ever uh, project we did uh, with Cluster AI. Uh, and this is our last one. It is uh, at half a million organic, organics per month. Our process has not changed. We just rely on publish fast as possible, have high quality content, and then plan your pages according to the groupings that you get from Cluster AI. And if you do all of these things up front, you can actually calculate all of your costs and you can understand how viable a project like this can be for you if you choose the number of pages that you need to, um, that you would need to publish. All right, I think I have uh, become a bit rusty after this couple of weeks of uh, breaks of doing lives, but I'm gonna come back uh, faster and better for you guys, I promise. Uh, thank you for joining me, everybody who did this live. Uh, thanks everybody for um, amazing words of uh, encouragement for these videos. This is why I wanna make them for you uh, even more. Um, if you want this example grouping to be sent to you, to inspect it, to check it out, uh, leave us a comment that you want a grouping. Make sure to leave me that comment that you want uh, me to give you those instructions for the writers. I promise, uh, Scott Sonner, I'm going to do this in the next two weeks. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you on Facebook. I'll see you on LinkedIn and I'll see you on YouTube. Um, have a great weekend and I'll see you in seven days. Peace.